ฝากกดติดตามและกดไลค์กดแชร์ CBN Thailand In other news, after a string of tornadoes tore through Ohio in March, CBN's Operation Blessing arrived on the scene to help those in need. On Easter Sunday, workers and volunteers served a meal and provided fellowship for those still without homes. CBN's Brody Carter brings us the story. Well, I was laying on the edge of my bed, taking a nap, and uh, something woke me up. The debris everywhere, people's personal belongings everywhere. At least 21 tornadoes stretch across seven states in early March, killing three. You can see where the tornado was headed straight out. Of it. It Robert Williams of Wapakoneta, Ohio, lost his home. It is what it is, disaster. Just a week before the storm, Robert's wife passed away. Operation Blessing showed up just in time to provide this disabled veteran with help and spiritual support. Amen. What I can tell you, first of all, is this is what we do. All that includes serving more than 500 meals to staff, volunteers, and affected residents. OB volunteers are helping neighbors clean up what's been left behind. And Jesus saying, amen. Thank you. While also giving hope to those who may have lost theirs. <laughs> Operation Blessing also donated $40,000 to Mercy Unlimited, a local partner to provide a month of temporary housing for 30 survivors at a local hotel. This is what, the only place we have to go right now is the hotel. Um, we have family, but they live in small trailers. I'm going to cry now. You go ahead. Let me try But we couldn't do it without you guys. As life becomes more stable with Operation Blessings help, WAPAC church pastor Jason Goss sees this helping point those who are hurting to the one who can heal. You see opportunities for people to love people. And that obviously is, comes from the great command, you know, love God, love each other. And so we have this opportunity to show love for people, to be the hands and feet of Jesus. You're the one standing there, so yeah. That's right. <laughs> With no place to call home on Easter Sunday, Wapak Church opened its doors to displaced families, offering a warm meal and a place for community. We don't have any agenda, so sit, talk as long as you want. With continued support, families received cleaning supply buckets along with boxed meals. The folks responsible for helping restore what's been lost are grateful for the love and support of Operation Blessing and the opportunity to share the gospel. I think it provides an opportunity for people to go, tell me about your God. Tell me about Jesus. Brody Carter, CBN News. No.